Good morning. It is currently 6.28 a.m. on Friday, TGIF, June 19th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So I know all of you are just dying for a chair update. Well, I am sitting in it as we speak. I did not end up going to the hardware store just because uh, I was a little late getting out the door yesterday, so I had to stay at the office a little later, and then that got me into heavier traffic, and so I didn't get home until substantially later than I normally would, and the hardware store that is within walking distance of me um, was going to be closed. So I uh, didn't get to uh, do that. I might still revisit it. But uh, what I did have was some electrical tape and some little tiny steel nails. And what I did is I found that the, the broken part is kind of a, it's a molded metal piece that uh, goes around kind of an axle and then has one part with a big diameter and one part with a small diameter. The part with the small diameter, thank you, Luna, that's helpful. The part with the small diameter goes into uh, a hole in the frame to keep the axle from doing this in the frame. Now, it turned out that some of my concerns about safety were unwarranted because the axle is still very much solid within the frame. Like, there was no way it was going to come out, but it was just able to bump up and down like that, and that's what I was uh, feeling. And so what I did, at least as a temporary measure, is I took a bunch of those nails, like seven or eight of them, and I bent a 90-degree angle in, in them and then used the electrical tape to kind of hold them all together in a line. And then I used tweezers to kind of stick the, the, the ends, the bent ends, down in around the axle in the hole to basically just act as a buffer to keep it from uh, going up and down. Now, that, that it's not a very sturdy or permanent solution, or probably, but it seems to have worked at least for now. And uh, Luna is literally right between my feet right now, playing with this chew toy, this squeaky toy. Um, and so, uh, at least for now, my chair is not wobbling. Um, but I suspect that uh, you know, I this is a this is a quick fix. Um, is Jerry Rig uh, an offensive term? I don't even know. I actually always learned it as jury rig, which I don't know if that even makes any sense. I have to look up the etymology of that phrase because I don't actually know it. But in the meantime, I'm in my chair again. Let's see, this one. Uh, which is good because it's more comfortable than the dining room chair that I uh, had substituted for the temporary uh, fix. Aww. Luna decided she's tired again, so she is uh, lay down uh, with her head across my uh, my foot. She's pretty sweet. That's one of my favorite things that dogs do is that like they want to sleep, but they want to know that you're there. They want to have that contact, so they'll you know lean up against your leg or uh, put their head on your foot or or whatever. And uh, sometimes uh, when Luna's up on the bed with me, she'll She'll lay down so that she's kind of pointing in the other direction and can keep watch, but with her butt kind of pressed up against me. <laughs> she's pretty sweet. So um, one of the other things that I did yesterday was to watch a few more episodes of Deadwood um, in my rewatch and a few more episodes of Sense8. Uh, both of those are continuing as previously discussed, meaning uh, I'm loving my rewatch of Deadwood because it's such a great show, and I'm just sort of feeling like I'm so glad to be rewatching it. And then Sense8, I'm also really interested in. Um, we're finally, uh, I'm now seven episodes into Sense8, and we're 
getting heavy into what's the actual central mystery now, other than just what, who are these people and what are they doing and all that, which is, uh, is good. You know, I think part of the reason people describe this show as slow burning or slow moving at first is really just the nature of having to introduce us to so many characters. And because that does seem to be the prior, the show's priority is to focus on the characters and who they are and what they mean to each other and what they want and feel and think just takes time to do that. And so, and I'm, it's pretty impressive that I feel like I care about all eight of these primary characters. All right. Well, it's Friday, but I do still have to go to work. <sighs> Luna was alarmed by my yawn. It's okay, Luna. All right, so remember, you guys, you can find everything I do at ChristianaEllis.com, including the audio version of our Beyond the Wall season finale episode is now posted there, as well as the video version. And uh, <clears throat> so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.